What's going on guys? How are we doing today? My name is, of course, as you can probably tell by this wire wrapped around my microphone, then it is Daniel Soul, back again with some more Assassin's Creed. And he got us just laid it on my arm. It's pretty cool. Now, um, so, I want to show you all something. It's just a little something. That's right. One more cultist. One more. And it is complete. We are completed. One more. Just the one. And we are done. Now, I'm at a different angle. I'm not using my phone to record. Hopefully, I can record up to an hour and a half on this. So, we're gonna go kill her. And then, I have another surprise for you all. But that's coming in a second. Don't worry. Don't you worry. We will have everything in order, eventually. Plus, I'm hanging a really good look at the new chair. You like it? Yeah, I like it too. I think it's pretty cool. Oh boy. What is this? Approach the pyramid. Mary? What is going on? It's empty. Cassandra, it was never supposed to be like this. Decades ago, a group of people gathered together to uphold a theory which they believed could control the universe. That the world functioned in equal parts, order and disorder. But some fell lovingly into the wicked arms of chaos, and the cult of Cosmos was born. They abused their power casting the Greek world into eternal war. One you were created to stop. In destroying the cult, you have done what I could not. You are a hero, but this imbalance comes with a price, my child. For without chaos, there is supreme order, a loss of progression and freedom. But there is still hope. Hope in you. Hope in the future you will bring. We must fix the mistakes of the past. Use the staff. Repair the rift in the universe. The world depends on you, Cassandra. You need to be the hero again. Hmm. So, you've seen it too, then. It's beautiful, isn't it? What are you doing here? You killed the last member of the cult. Well, just about. What? It's true. I was their leader, but only for a moment, it seemed. When your brother came along, it changed everything we were aiming for. How could you agree with the cult? You agreed with them? The fucking cult? The powers that be in the Greek world weren't doing things the right way. The cult just wanted a clean slate. By way of corruption! Dirty drachmi! They killed people in a war they made themselves! Fueling war was one of the methods, yes. But it was control. Until suddenly it wasn't. And then I didn't like what we were doing anymore. Uh, see... Oh my god. Is it I thought Vimos was on your side. Not in the way we hoped. As you know, he's impossible to control. He worked his way to the helm, and then he held even more sway than I did. Why are you one of them? Palaka. So you were after us. Not you, your bloodline. 
People like Leonidas, like you, have always posed a threat. Then we met and you surprised me. You were nothing like Demos. Why not just use me? I was in the palm of your hand. You made me optimistic that you could help me bring down the cult that had become so corrupt. And you did, albeit unknowingly. Telling me you're a cultist took guts. You know what I do to cultists, Aspasia. I didn't want to lie to you anymore. Now that they're gone, we can work together. I think we'd make a good match, don't you? I just don't understand. What about this pyramid? How does it work? Why does the cult have it? I've been trying to figure out all of that myself. It's as much of a mystery to you as it is to me. This pyramid has been worshipped by the cult for decades, and we have used it to replace the Oracle of Delphi, the most trusted person in all the Greek world. Using the people's reliance on a pantheon of dead gods would help to reshape humanity in our favor. The pyramid holds a mysterious power to see into time, but only certain people can activate it. People like Demos and the ones in your bloodline. But you've seen something, too. I don't know how or why, but it did show me... something. What did you see? I saw you. In the vision, you destroyed the pyramid and you destroyed the cult. I saw what would come after. After the cult? We will be replaced by a new kind of order. Control under the reign of a philosopher king. There would be a movement away from the old gods towards rational society, built in a kingdom by the people, for the people. And I must find someone to lead them. But I couldn't achieve any of this with the cult and their chaotic regime. So I let them carry out their plans and let the time of the cult of Cosmos come to an end on its own. Wait, did Pericles know? I wanted to protect him, so I kept him in the dark. He would have had his own opinions, but he was never supposed to die. That is the truth. Honestly, it was probably better. You've made idea. questionable choices. But I think that was the right one. You knew him. All he did was worry about the state of the Greek world. If I told him, it would have ruined him. So, what happens now? We shift focus. We steer towards a new republic under one supreme rule. A dream I'll make a reality. But it is still a dream. One that isn't realistic. Abandon what you know and just imagine. Forget democracy. No more blue and red. Just citizens working for a greater good. This is crazy. It won't work, Aspasia. It didn't work. It's not crazy. It's enlightening. Once people in Athens get wind of this, they'll come to know they've wanted it all along. Even you. <sighs> I'm not sure. You've spent your whole life thinking for yourself. Let go. What I plan will require you to trust me. Come with me. This future's not a dream. Charm. I want to kiss you. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm sorry. I suppose that means you trust me. I don't know what that means. I'll tell you what it means. Love is a singular comfort, Cassandra. What comes next means harmony for everyone. You should go. Lead your new republic. I won't be the leader. We need someone with the knowledge of a philosopher and the wisdom of a king. That's a tall order these days. Yeah, no kidding. I couldn't have done this without you, Cassandra. You're doing the right thing. I always try to do what's right. Then we're after the same thing. I swear to God, if she's the one who set up who, who killed Cassandra, baby. Cassandra, there is much there is left much to do left. now. I can weather any storm. Well then, defeat all the cultists. 
Pieces of Cosmos. Congratulations, me. The cult is done. Circle is this demigod? Hell yeah. So yeah, that's the cultist. I was gonna go in the demigod set and kill everyone, but now we're off to a new land. All right. Welcome to the arena. Choose your. Shut up. Vasily. Vasily, sweetheart, king of the arena. <sighs> Sorry, I'm being quiet. It's like one o'clock in the morning. Sorry, I apologize. Everyone here is level 50. This isn't going to be a challenge. I would like eat level 50. You want the best! Okay, come on. It ends here! Come on, boy. Oh, 
Us out. Okay. Thank you. Hell yeah. Oh, another achievement. Are you not entertained? Congratulations, <laughs> Mistyos. You've lived up to what my own and I saw in you. Mm. You're destined for greatness. I am. Thank you. I'm done, Mistyos. I'm living. A life outside the arena gates is no longer for me. I need to move on. Okay, where will you go? Where will you go from here? What will you do? I need to live life the best way I know how. Will you see your daughter? My little Anea? Yes, I think I'll see her. I hope we meet again, Skura. What makes you want to leave? Why do you want to leave the arena now? It's because of you, Mistyos. I finally watched you in the arena. How long has it been since you've watched the fight? 
a long time. But I'm glad I went back in. You've stirred feelings in me I thought to be long dead. Good. That's what I'm supposed I to do. I understand, friend. Friend? Not old man? Not old man. Friend. Oh, friend. Before I leave, I've set up one last fight for you. The best arena fighter the Greek world has to offer. It won't be easy. But then again, nothing in the arena ever is. Are you interested? Absolutely. I'll do it. Okay, um, can I go in? Gross. You want to fight someone in the arena? Oh. Face this mystery of mystery opponent. Ooh. I almost lost my golf club. Is this the last fight? Sorry, I couldn't find it. Scora? Look at this, Mystios. Feel it! Everything I've been collapses down into this moment. The war, my time in the arena, my daughter Anea, and you. You, Mystios! What about me? Why are you doing Why this? Why are you doing this? I found a way. Thanks to you, I found a way to live again. Well, what about your daughter? What about Anea? Think of her, Skura. I've been thinking of her every day since she was born. And now more than ever. We don't need to fight. You need to rethink this. You don't know what you're doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. You're going to have to fight me, Mystios. I won't hesitate killing you if you let me. I won't fight you. No. I won't fight you, friend. I refuse. Then you choose death, Mystios. Fuck off! <laughs> Bad at all. Not bad for an old man. Not bad at all. I thought so too. What about Anea, your daughter? Anea's gone. She's been dead for nine years. So when you said you'd see her again. I was scared that when I finally saw her again, she'd see what I'd become. A useless old man. You showed me there was still a way I could go to her proudly. As hero of the arena. Do you think she'd be proud? Yes. She'd be proud. I would be. I'll tell her of a new hero of the arena. A warrior of true honor. Thank Dad. you. Friend. Top. 
That sucks. I liked him. I mean, I didn't see him. I didn't remember, but I still liked him. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> they love so many fucking characters. Like, all the time, too. Like, Phoebe, Pericles, um... Well, there, there's a ton of people I killed off. It was really annoying. <sighs> I actually got to see Phoebe again today. I went back, uh, and I redid the mission to find out what her sword that she gave Peace me looked like to make sure. Dead. It's what we all hope to earn one day. Peace and respect. How do we truly earn those? Peace and respect. Once we're gone, our deeds must speak for themselves. They've defined us and our legacy. It's how we're remembered that matters most. How will you remember, Skura? A hero. I'll remember him as he truly was. A hero of the arena. And a friend. The crowds never rest, Mistyus. Would you like to go back to the arena with me? Let's go back. Let's go. Let's see what there is. I'm teasing at least. Ooh, you'll get sick of this soon, don't worry. In this video, trust, just trust. It literally does not take that long. This isn't a very cut video either. So we're not going to get as far as I would like. But it might, it might be a little bit longer though. Because of the, because of that. But not terrible. Oops. Uh, I might even make it a little bit shorter than usual. Because I'm going to have to, uh, because I want to keep it an hour. If it's just like random people, what to fight? Then I'm not. Yeah, no, I'm exiting. I've already fought everyone before, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Oh. That's a cool quest. I like that. Thumbs up for me. However, I don't have any of the arena fighter set, which is really stupid and annoying. But it's whatever. Um, okay, I got another quest for us, but when I change outfits, I'll meet you later. I was not happy. I did like an hour and a half of recording. It all corrupted. It's time, Keeper, to fulfill the most important part of your task as the one who holds the staff. Are you ready to begin? I'm ready. Whatever it is you have planned, I'm ready. However, I didn't, uh, I also didn't have the arena complete, or the cultist complete, or the sphere upgraded, so. And I forgot that the, um, I mean, Animus was having a fucking seizure. <laughs> like, goddamn! Who? Animus be going crazy. Let me tell you. Layla, what you got for me? What you got for me, honey? Anybody there? Victoria? Layla? Oh, nice timing. Looks like I've been able to establish a secure connection with polymorphic code. Hacker free. Good to have you back. How's Kyoshi? You know him. Resilient as ever. He wouldn't want you worrying. Sigma team. I can't believe those bastards found the Altair too. Turns yeah, out our bastard. signal was being corrupted by the Juhani Otsoberg himself. Stupid bastard. Guess he was bored of playing Black Cross and tracking down the Juno cult. I should have known some desperate hacker from Erudito would flip on us. Their fingerprints are all over this. No way. Otso heard everything? 
If he tells the rest of the Templar Inner Sanctum what we're up to, we'll have every armed of Sergogun on the planet after us. If Berg hasn't found you yet, we're still a step ahead. Then as long as I got you as backup, what are we waiting for? Let's see what this great seal is all about. Where's Victoria? You'll see. All right then, here we go. Okay. Hello, lady. Oh, Alethea. Alif something like that. Alethea. Alethea. Hello, Leila. Heir of memories. We finally found each other. I guess rebels always find a way. It's nice to meet you in the flesh, Alethea. Or in the hologram? It was only a matter of time until our realities crossed in one way or another. It seems as though we're not alone. Victoria! What are you doing down here? Layla, it was way too dangerous to let you do this alone. I wanted to keep an eye on things personally. Who's this? This is Alethea. The voice from the staff I was talking about? Of the Isu, Victoria? <laughs> Can you believe it? I've had nothing but time to study the patterns of human speech, so I should sound less like a talking stick. Are you sure we can trust her? Yes. Yes. Don't worry. She's a friend. She wants to help us with the staff. It was always known to me that the heir of memories would embark alongside the Keeper, Cassandra. You weren't in the plans, can I trust you? Of course you can. I'm her doctor, and I need to be here to keep an eye on Layla's vitals. She'll keep out of the way. No matter. This journey is yours and Cassandra's. You'll need to build up the strength to withstand the staff's corruption. Cassandra finds power to fuel both her and the staff. You too will feel that physical connection. So you want Layla to go in there? I don't think so. Who knows what exposure to even more first Civ tech will do? Not me, Victoria. I'll go into the Animus and experience it as Cassandra. Right, Alethea? Your journey starts at the same place the Keepers did. The Animus will show you her way through the simulations. If you're sure, Layla, we'll have to be extra careful. I'll be here to monitor you with her. Are you ready? Hell yeah. As ready as I'll ever be. Wish me bon chance. Bon chance. Bon chance. Bon chance. Bon chance. I really, I really like the fact that how Ubisoft did it. They made it. You're more. They made it a universal character now, because Layla than where they had it earlier where they had like just a bunch of people which was kind of eh <laughs> there's blood the keeper shares blood with those who came before and is connected to the issue shared must also be offered and the great seal will open for us if you say so welcome keeper you've entered the great throne room of atlantis what lies in this room are remnants of isu tech i've adapted in order for you to begin your journey i'm sure you have questions yes what is this place this place did Pythagoras know it existed? No, I wouldn't show it to him. This room was built by the Isu to house something else. These thrones were once just thrones. Now they contain my simulations. Don't worry, I'll show you. 
Why was I allowed in? You told me this room was meant for the aid of memories. But I got in so easily. You paid for it in blood. Blood that looks quite like ours when you look closely enough. Mater always told me there was power in our blood. I guess she was right. You brought me here for a reason. There's more I have to do. Always, Keeper. When the staff belonged to Pythagoras, he used it selfishly for knowledge. He was weak where you aren't. You will endure lifetimes until the heir of memories takes this burden. The only way to carry the staff's weight is to find the strength to wield it. You'll find that strength in Elysium. The underworld awaits, Keeper. The... What? I'm alive. Underworld? If I'm alive, how can I come back from the underworld? These portals are simulations. They were made by me for you. In Elysium, you'll find power sources known as Keeper's Insights. This will affect both the Keeper and the Heir of Memories. Moving forward in the Underworld will be essential to finding all the sources of power. You're asking for blind trust, Alithia. You pledged yourself to me and our common cause, Keeper. Never forget that I'm on your side. I won't let the ones that came before control your fate. Find the strength within you and show the staff your worth. Approach the first portal when you're ready. Well, I'm ready. Trials of Keeper. No going back now. What? I have to trust her. Interact. She's disappeared. What the hell? Oh, oh yeah, and look, if you look on the, 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 the loading screen, um, which is that way, by the way, if you look closely, all the cultists' masks are on the floor. Every single one. If you go to the beginning of the game to now, more and more cultists, if you go from the very first loading screen that I had to the last one, as I killed the cultists, their masks over on the floor. That's pretty cool. I like that effect. I like that. Ooh. 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 Ability enhancements. Also, so I know a little thing about this part of the story. Um. I may or may not do, I'm going to do most of it off camera because a lot of it for one quest is lower, because you'll see in a second, I'll explain it, but there's one quest I'm not going to do that I did the first time I recorded it because I had more time, but that's yeah. not <sighs> bracelet on its left leg, part of the left leg. And that collar is the nicest dog collar anyone has ever had. You don't belong here. Spear look like shit again. Those look cool. Enemy EC soldiers perform special attacks that can freeze or drain the adrenaline that you've accumulated. You're gonna eat your oh. teeth if you keep it up! Um, this one oh, yeah. Oh, 
Spin, flip that around, spin. <laughs> the fate of Atlantis, episode one. Fields of Elysium. Okay. Awesome. And Ikaro has made it through too, so that's good. No one stands up to Persephone's guards, let alone best them in battle. Tell me your name, or you're next. Oh, you're big. Ah, I'm Hermes. As you're holding my proudest creation, that means you're a descendant of Pythagoras. Hermes. I know just why you're here. You need to harness its power. Now, your name. The staff calls me Keeper, but you can call me Cassandra. What is this place? He has like Athenian tassels Keeper! On. A great name with a great journey ahead of you. This is the paradise of Elysium, presided over by the mighty Persephone herself. Elysium was a gift from her husband, Hades. This beautiful realm she crafted in her image is the only joy she gets from the underworld. She's his prisoner. But she's coming to her role as queen with much aplomb. Elysium, resting place of heroes. When I was a girl, I'd dream of seeing it with my own eyes. Then why would Persephone attack me? Most rulers don't take the sudden invasion of a lone outsider lightly. Speaking of which, the appearance of a living human is quite unexpected. I'm supposed to go through trials and eventually leave this place. There was a great seal and the staff talks. It's all very complicated. Allow me to explain. The staff is a gift, not a toy. It can be a key, a weapon, and a way to attain power until the very end of time. Here, you'll find the means to control it before it controls you. After that, there is a gate that leads out of Elysium. But the only way to it is through Persephone, and she'd never allow that. I need to get to that gate. Try talking to her. Who knows? Maybe she'll convince you to stay. Or you could find Negati, Persephone's top advisor and closest friend. Or you could prove yourself. Prove myself how? Persephone sent guards because she's concerned. There are reports of lawlessness in Defcalion's heritage south of here. <laughs> Why am I telling you all this? You said it yourself. It's very complicated. Elysia may look like paradise. But we all have our secrets. Fair enough. Where is Persephone? I'm thinking I go straight to Persephone. Not so fast. Persephone. Yeah. Give her some time to Persephone. cool down. When you Persephone. introduce yourself, you'll find her in her majestic Acropolis, perched high above the Asphodel fields. Uh, we know about Hecate. I could talk to Hecate. You could, though she prefers to keep to herself. The dwellers of Ferea's retreat, which is to the east, might know of her whereabouts. I'd ask them. Okay. Uh, what's going on in du Duplo's Maybe heritage? I should investigate the Fkalion's heritage. Persephone Fkalion's responds heritage. best to action. Okay. We need to smother them immediately if there's a whiff of Persephone. trouble against her. Persephone. Persephone. Persephone is the lady who was, who was sent to the underworld by Demeter. Because she had a deal or something with Hades, and then they got married. And I guess that Hades rules the underworld, and Persephone, or Persephone, is like the keeper of heaven for the heroes. Tell me about yourself. Me? Well, uh, I've never had anyone ask about me before. I work west of here. It's a modest workshop. But all great things appear modest at first, don't they? Also, uh, Hermes is Hermes. Like, the, the, the messenger god. I didn't know he was gonna be here. That's wild. That's crazy. No wonder the wings are on it. Because if you know Hermes, or Hermes, his uh, shoes uh, 
had wings on them, so that he could fly, that he could travel faster. So, yeah, just so you know. Now tell me about the staff. What can you tell me about my staff? I need to learn how to use it. Find my energy sources, the perceptions of Hermes, across Elysium to imbue both you and the staff with power. Only then are you ready to move onward. You can't wield the staff without them. Are you certain there's nothing else you'd like to know? Nope. That's all I'm good. I'm good. I have everything. When you've sorted your affairs with Persephone, come see me in Minos's Fate. I look forward to hearing about your progress. I will. I almost forgot. I've invented just a thing for you flightless humans in Elysium. The wings of Erbis. Go. Enjoy them. His boots have wings on him. His boots have wings. I told you. Ooh. 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 We're not gonna touch that. Synchronization point. Hell yeah. Abraxas wait. Access weight. I'm gonna hang up your shoes. Oh man, that is a really cool way to structure something. And that is really bad graphics right there. Okay, come on. Yeah, let's get up. Come on, Brax, it's this way. Come on. Okay, there we go. Let's try and follow the road to it. This way, maybe? This way? I already know the way, but, you know. Try and stay on the road 90% of the time, at least with the horse. Um, because this seems like a really cool shit. I'm already failing. Let's go. Oh, that way, this way. Yeah. Oh, shit. That way. This way. Okay. Here we go. What's up to your waistline, by the way? Like, here? I don't know where waist is on camera. <laughs> this should be the last- this is gonna be the last thing I do. Besides, like, I think talk to someone, but that's about it. The wings of Hermes. Could this be it? Walaka, well, that was fast. You guys teleport again? Teleport twice to go up. Okay, oh yeah, then up here. And this should be the guy. Um, up this way. Excuse me. This way. 
Hermes, how many times? Oh, it. I make it so you could. You have to hit. You know I want out of Elysium. Talk. If so you help me escape, I promise you'll never see me again. As happy as that would make me, Persephone wants you to stay. How long until you realize you're just one of her pets? Watch yourself, human. Careful, or Persephone will have you neutered. Oh, I forgot. She did that ages ago. Oh, damn. Hermes is a god, just so you know. Persephone's... Persephone, Persephone isn't. Kill her. <laughs> Maybe she is. Yeah, she's a daughter of one. Didn't right. think the dead could feel pain. I'm one of the few miserable fools around here who's actually alive. Hmm. Then you should leave. If you're so miserable, why not just leave? I've tried. If Persephone wants you to stay, dead or alive, you stay. Hades taught her well. Oh, so man. you're the troublemaker I've been hearing so much about. Adon, Satyr Servus. With an army at Persephone's disposal and most of Elysium under her control, my oh, troublemaking yeah. days are coming to an end. What if I helped you? And why would someone with their whole life ahead of them want to do that? Uh, I have a job to do. I need to find Hades' realm. If overthrowing Persephone is the key to escaping Elysium, then I'm in. <laughs> Why didn't you just say so from the beginning? Did you hear that, my love? She wants to enter Hades' realm. I'm going to find it with or without your help. We might as well work together. Tell you what. Southwest from here is the fortress of the Three Sisters, one of Persephone's strongholds. If you kill her overseer, destroy her torches of Hypnos, and steal Persephone's resources, all while avoiding the attention of her Colossi, then maybe I'll trust you. Okay. Who are the overseers? Tell me about the overseers. Persephone's most trusted and deadly servants. They are the eyes and ears of Elysium. Killing them will leave the queen blind and deaf. Mm -hmm. Torches? What is a torch? What torches of Hypnos? Constructed by the god of slumber, these devices keep human minds under Persephone's control. Destroy their centers to extinguish their flames. Uh, what are Colossi? I don't like the sound of Colossi. Colossi the Colossi are best left asleep. They protect the overseers. Bloodshed wakes them, and they do not like being woken. I have everything I need. If you're the troublemaker, why do I feel like I'll be causing all the trouble? What can I say? I'm a lover, not a fighter. Luckily for you, I'm both. Ooh, romance. Okay, this is basically the exact same as, um, whatever it is. Um, the exact same thing as uh, in Greece. There's like leaders are the overseers, then the resources are obviously in some of the chests, and then there's also the powers, torches of Ethnos, and then there's provisions, which are the the war supplies. And then there's these other things called marble maiden tributes, which if you destroy them, you get good. You get good. So yeah, and that's kind of like, uh, the more you take away from that, the more you take down her control over the region. So, yep. I'm gonna do that later, though. I am. I'm just staying right here. stand right here on this pole. Look out. Okay. Oh crap. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead and smash the like button. Like doll.